right then, let's do this gasket repair, shall we? Now what are you going to need? You need a knife, a sharp knife. Your socket set so you can get the carburetor off and everything off. Um, remember I've already got half of mine off from when I've done the video on carburetor um, chokes. You need some gasket paper. Now they do different thicknesses. Um, got thicker and thinner and <clears throat> gradually goes down. You've got this bit thinner, thinner, thinner until you've got this stuff which is like paper. Now we don't want to be using that rubbish. Different types of applications and stuff. So for doing the gasket on this, you're going to want to try and match it up to the the paper that's already there. So we're going to take the old gasket off and see if we can match the thickness up. All right. So there's the cobra. Um, we've got the fuel line clamped, and there's the old gasket. That's gone. Try and get that off there. I don't want to rip it because I need to use it. Well, it doesn't matter if I rip it really, I don't need to use it, but I still don't want to rip it because I'm going to use it as a template. Or if I can't use it as a template, I'll use the carburetor as a template. There we go. Get that off. Whee! Lovely jubbly! There's the old one. It is very, very squashed. That's probably why it was leaking. Because you shouldn't reuse gaskets really. Um, and I, I reuse this about three or four times. This gasket's been reused. So there's the old gasket. Now, we're going to have to try and match it up with um, paper to try and get the same thickness. See what we can come up with, shall we? Alright. Definitely ain't the thick one. <coughs> Put that down there. It might be this one. Let's see what we can find. Yeah. That's roughly the same thickness. So I think we'll use this one. I think that will do the job nicely. A bit of this stuff. Now what you got to do, you put that on the edge. <coughs> Make sure you do the edge as close to the edge as you can to save wasting because if you go over there and so you put it there you put it there and then you cut across cut around it cut around it and then cut there what's the point you know you got slick when you've wasted this bit here what are you going to better use that bit for nothing really so you might as well it's much better more efficient saves you money buying more gasket paper in the future good practice to put it right close to the edge as close as you can put it on a flat surface obviously as well and then you can either go around just cut around it or you can go around it with a pen or a pencil um, and then take it away and then cut around it so can't do that <coughs> right there it is it's not very good but um, heh, I've never been very good at anything arty, you know what I mean? I can't draw, I can't do anything like this really, but there's, at least we got the main, that will do, yeah? There's nothing wrong with that. That will do the, do its job. It's the same shape. Um, might have a little, I'll cut them edges off before I put it on. I'll just slice them off for that one. But there's the main gasket shape. So, all that remains now is to make sure everything's clean on our carburetor, which it is. I'm going to give it a wipe over with a cloth. This bit isn't clean. It's got some, I don't know what that is, goo there for some reason. Um, I'll clean the goo off. Um, and then I will check this side. This side's pretty much clean. I'm going to give it a wipe over with a cloth. Um, not a lot on there. I'll give it a wipe over with the cloth to make sure it is nice and sparkly before we go installing our gasket and our uh, carburetor again. 
So let's see how it goes. Right, there we go. Now the gasket is installed. There you can just see, if I can get my bloody shadow out of the way. Just see the gasket there in the corner is installed. Uh, obviously don't know whether it leaks yet because I haven't done it up. But you have to put your little bit plate thing back on. That's what this particular carburetor requires. Little plate thingy. Make sure it's clean on that side and on in the inside of here. Make sure they're nice and clean. Do them on there. Uh, and then you got to get your other bit wherever that's gone. And then you have to get your other bit, obviously. Stick that back on there. See if I can do it with one hand. Probably not. There we go. Stick that on there. Get your nut. Get your bolt uh, nuts. Stick that on there. Cool. We're doing a bit of David's farm camera in today. We're wiggly woggly all over the place. I've never been very good. I've never been. Well, I can be good at it if I wanted to, but. I don't like it whenever people are all organised and get perfect shots. You know what I mean? Show it as it is. Show it as it is, man. That's the way I see it. Anyway, so uh, that's that. Do them bolts up nice and tight, and then install the other bit wherever that's gone. This other bit here it goes on top of there. So I'm gonna do them. Do them bolts up tight, and then I'll uh, screw that on and turn the petrol on and see if we got a leak. I don't think we will have a leak. Well, we might have. I don't know. I should point out, by the way, if you don't already know, when you have two, when you have things like this, um, you have, for example, two bolts here, two nuts, the studs. When you do it up, you should always do it like that. Never. Never do one up really tight and then go to the other one and do that one up tight because what will happen is it won't push it evenly on the on the gasket on the flange on the surface. It won't push it evenly. It will come in. It will come in at an angle like that. You want it to go flush all the way down, but it will it will go down like that, and then you won't get a good seal. And uh, well, simple as that. You'll mess your gasket up. You could mess your studs up or anything else. So you should always do it, that one a little bit, that one a bit more, that one a little 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 bit more, until you start getting tight, and then you just nip, 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 until you're tight. Obviously if you've got four, so you've got one there, one there, one there, and one there, you nip that one, then nip that one, then you can either go to there or there, nip that one, and then nip that one. And you can either go back to there or back to there. Normally, you would go back to there usually, nip that one, and you keep doing it in the same sequence of what you started off in until you start to get tight, and then you just nip it all the way. It's very, very important, that is. Very important. Well, there it is, it's back together. Um, I've turned the petrol on. As you can see, petrol is on. I can't see any leaks coming out of there yet. I'm not going to start it up yet. I have to do that in the morning. It's about, what is it now? About half past 11 at night now. So I can't take it outside and start it up because I'll get the moany neighbours moaning at me again. But everything's back together. Everything's back on. I've turned the petrol on. There's no leaks as yet. So. We should be good to go. I would see by now if there was a leak, I would have thought. But the truth will be in the start-up, because obviously when you start it up, it's going to start sucking the fuel into the uh, combustion chamber, and that's when we get the real leakage. But before, it was leaking even when it weren't on. It was leaking just when the petrol was on without the engine running, so the fact that we ain't got any leaks yet is always a good start. Can't go wrong there. Woohoo! Another thing fix fixed. I like it when I get things fixed. It's always good. That's one more thing I can get out of here now. I can take it back to me dad and he can have it back. I don't 
don't know why he couldn't do it himself. Simple. 